Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Come at you on the first Friday of March, which is normally non farms, but that's next week, this this month. Um, but we do have ISM services, 4 p.m. Swiss time, Central European time, so that'll be very interesting today. Let's take a look at what dollar yen did yesterday. We had a bit of a B in our bonnet for dollar yen higher yesterday. Um, choppy, but it worked okay for us. We did have to wear some fucking shit on this move here. So we walked in here, it was around 40. It went up to 87, all the way back to 24. In the midst of all that, we had some news from the BOJ, which created some dumb volatility, which was just kind of annoying. Um, and then, just before the numbers, uh, up to 86 again. And then at the 230 numbers, we traded up to 07. So there was, there was some clean price action through 86, which worked out. We had core longs. Um, O1s were a scratch for us, uh, and then, you know, we just sort of range traded around, basically 50, 90, back up to 90 at the fix, down to 55, uh, and here we are at 66. I think we said this on Twitter on Wednesday, and sometimes when you write something on Twitter, the reason you write it is to tell yourself this is what you think and this is how you should trade. We were talking about keeping your fucking powder dry, um, which is what uh, Dublin would say to me in his uh, idiotic Irish accent that we all love. Um, and this is going to be resolved on Friday. Uh, so yesterday was a bunch of silly numbers that didn't really matter. Yields went up, then they went back down. Here we are. Um, this is going to be resolved on Friday. We harvested some stuff yesterday, short cable as well. Um, Euro Swiss was good to us. So it was an okay day. Uh, we did wear some pain on that dollar yen. The first moved down to 22. But came good in the end. We're square again here. Uh, we're tiny long Euro. Uh, we bought some Euros at 90 yesterday. Uh, but just a social amount. And now we're just waiting, right? Let's look at this um, This yields. Um, yields went up to 4088. The reason we thought 410 was going to hold it is because 2.5 sigma yesterday, this changed with volatility structures changing, was 408. So we got a little bit anxious about whether you know, 10 points in the 10 year was going to hold, especially going into numbers. So we were short 10 years, um, and then we flipped uh, up at 408. That's when we bought our euros. This is when we sold our dollar yen. Uh, it just got so stretched, and when it got stretched, you could see the dollar yen just was running out of running out of puff. Like when we were up at 408, 409, the dollar yen should have been. I don't know, 137.70, but it wasn't, and that's part of this job is just saying what is happening. Obviously, there were too many people who were long dollar yen. Maybe everyone who listened to Privateer yesterday bought. Uh, I was thinking that as we were wearing this price action yesterday down to 20 in dollar yen, I was like, huh. I wonder if I fucked myself by telling everyone to buy dollar yen and a bunch of weak hands owned it and we went straight down. Uh, who knows, you know. It's a big market, God knows. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Let's let's stop looking backwards and let's look forwards. Um, 106.15 is a tiny little pivot area in uh, euro dollar. Euro looks like she wants to go higher. Um... I think buying anywhere into extension lows on the 105 handle is going to pay. Um, so 
I mean, core long is, is nice now, but you can't really load the boat or anything um, going into ISM services. But we do have a final, we have French industrial production, German trade balances, final services PMI from all of Europe today. This shit's going to come in pretty hot, so um, how do you play it this morning? I think long euro and also <clears throat> long euro Swiss. Euro Swiss trade down to 70. Um, imagine if Euro Swiss was bid yesterday, Dollar Swiss would have flown. But instead, Dollar Swiss did nothing. It's dick in a box. 94.07. Uh, but we do like picking up some Euro Swiss just on um, higher European yields story. So you can even probably buy some here at 81, but maybe like an 81, 71, 61 <coughs> sort of hunter and gatherer type trade for a move back above um, parity. Um, Euro Swiss looks all right. Let's look at stocks. It took a little bit of a bounce here. Is that bullish in golf? Wow, close. Anyway, stocks are going to have some trouble just because of the sort of higher for longer yield situation. Um, don't really have any directional idea on stocks here I mean that's a pretty bullish bar yesterday I guess gun to my head I would sell this shit up at 40 60 um, but not really trading much stocks these days mainly trading rates uh, and currencies so using stocks as sort of a bellwether what else Aussie's not doing anything the uh, retail guys are long Aussie be careful um, that's going to have a hard time going up. Dollar CAD just doing nothing. I mean, like 50 point range all week. Just ridiculous. Boo. Need some more vol, CAD. Oil's been all over the show. Um, where is oil? 78 bucks. We can take it higher. We roll a rock onto electric. Oil looks pretty solid. Uh, I think it looked. I think I wrote it looked like poop here, or maybe it was here. It's literally like at the lows. I was like, oh shit, oil looks like shit. Anyway, not trading oil either. You know what does look solid also is gold. Gold did not go down yesterday, and it should have. Rates higher. Gold looks very steady. Uh, I don't know what that means, bigger picture, but. Uh, we talked about selling gold at 60, 1860 yesterday. Obviously, never traded up there, but um, interesting. Gold, rock solid. That does not bode well for dollar yen through the roof. If dollar yen goes through the roof, gold has to go lower. Um, rates have to go through the roof. So you can see how this is very binary now, right? This 10 year deal today. Whatever happens at 4 p.m., if 10s go through 4.10, um, I wouldn't own gold. We'll be focusing on dollar-yen because that 200 days still on 37.25. Um, but if if ISM services come in at like 47 or some really low one, which seems unlikely, but it could happen. Oh, sorry, yawning. Not really sorry tired um we'll have to see anyway uh like i said not much to do it's a pretty binary type of a day uh we got a little bit of long euro here and i'm gonna buy some euro swiss for this european session and then we will see you all 4 p.m swiss time for uh the slam bama jamma ISM services. All right, said enough. Bye, 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 bye.